Hello everyone, this is Take from BigHeadTalk.com and welcome to BHD Studios. I'm here to announce the brand new Highland Tech Mars X, which is not what I'm holding here. This is the Mars 400S, but right here is the Mars X. And this is a new product that is very similar to this one here that I already did a review on, which I think is awesome. But this is more for someone like me who is a YouTuber. So what is the difference between these two? Well, I'm gonna do an unboxing. I actually do have a pre-production copy of it here, but I don't know how much of it has changed. This is a, a pretty cool product and I think it's gonna be great for YouTubers. So uh, this is a prototype, so let's uh, let's wait for the unboxing, but I'm I'm really excited to announce this brand new Mars X. I think it's Mars X. Uh, and before we move on to it, I mean, what are these products? Well, these are wireless transmission systems. Uh, this is the Mars 400S. This is the transmitter unit. As you can see, it says transmitter right here. And this typically should be on top of my camera or just off to the side somewhere. It runs off of uh, either a battery or you can uh, actually plug it in. And you can either do HDMI out or SDI out. I won't go into too much details, but basically this gets plugged into my camera and this over here gets plugged into whatever monitor you have, right? So right here I have the, the Desview R5 external monitor, 5.5 inch, beautiful monitor, nice rich colors. Uh, this typically, again, should be on top of your camera or something like that, and that's how it was designed for, but uh, because of this wireless, so this is the transmitter, and that's the receiver, but I'm just using this as an example of how you can transmit something like this to uh, uh, an external monitor, and the Mars 400S, what it allows for is up to four iOS or Android devices. So here I have my iPad and my iPhone, and it's using Wi-Fi to send the same signals. Now, why would someone like me want to use something like that? Well, I personally wouldn't, but imagine a, a photo or video shoot where you do have the, um, the client that is there, you have the videographer, the director, the producer, and you want to have multiple people uh, be able to see in real time what's happening uh, on set, but you don't want them kind of crowding around the, the videographer. So this is a great system for that. And then after the review, I did say to them, well, couldn't you make a system where you have the transmitter and you don't really need a receiver. Can't you just have a unit like this that just transmits directly to an iPad or an iPhone? I think that'd be great for YouTube because the Mars 400S, as a beautiful system as it is, beautiful hardware, metal uh, frame, removable, replaceable uh, antennas, lots of cool hardware, external AC adapter, it has everything you need. But it's $650. I said, couldn't you make something a lot cheaper for someone like me as a YouTuber who just basically wants to use an iPad or an iPhone or a tablet to just monitor my YouTube videos? And Hollyland said, you know what? I'll get back to you. I'll pass it on to the uppers. And usually when companies say that, often they, they don't. But uh, Lawrence, hey Lawrence, how's it going? At uh, Hollyland Tech, got back to me just, I think, weeks later and said, you know what? The upper management and the engineering team like your idea, and maybe I wasn't the only person that had suggested it, but they said, we're gonna work on it. And over the past few months, they have been uh, sending me kind of prototypes, and this was the last final prototype that they sent me uh, to to work on. These are the, the bunny ears, which I think are really cute for the antenna. And so, um, this is $650. Well, how much is this gonna be? Well, let's do the unboxing first, and then we'll, we'll find out how much all of this can be yours as a content creator, or a YouTuber, or an Instagrammer, or a Vimeo artist, or MySpace, or TikTok, or whatever you're using. So let's start the video now. And so just looking at the box here, you can see it shows the 300 feet distance, but it is line of sight distance, and it shows the Android and Apple logo, so it handles up to three, um, wireless units, three iPad, iPhone, tablet, uh, Samsung, whatever you have, uh, up to three units, and it is up to 1080p, 60 FPS, and it has the ability to use imported LUTs. And so let's uh, open this box up here and see what's inside and see how close it is to the, um, why am I struggling here? See how close it is to the, the uh, pre-production unit, so let's check this out. So, 
man, it is it's just so surprising at how small this is. Look, look at how small this unit here is compared to the okay, this is the, the receiver, but the uh, transmitter is the same size. But look at the size difference. Right, you need the external battery on these things here, or you can plug it in uh, using uh, external power source here. And this is a pro built unit. This is really, really nice. But with this system, you don't even need a receiver. All you need is just this and an iOS device. And so this is a unit here. And let's just see what else we get in the box here. It's a very simple kit, so I don't expect much. You get um, a little kind of a microfiber cloth to carry this in. And you get, uh, looks like just a USB uh, type A to type C for probably for charging. And then you just get a uh, adapter here. And that's pretty much it. So let's uh, move these out of the way. And let's take, I mean, look, look at this kit. When you take this with you, this is all you need. It's just, you pop it in and that's it. This is your entire wireless uh, monitoring system. It's not just monitoring, it also has audio and the app itself can also record whatever signals that's being sent to it, which is pretty good. It is, the quality is not that high quality as I showed in my Mars 400S unit, but it's good enough for just kind of proofing, right? So I do have the, the pre-production unit here as well. Now let's just make sure I, I don't forget, but it's pretty darn close. Look at that. It, pretty, it has the same dimensions. It has all the, it looks like the same connections here. Yeah, so it's pretty pretty darn close to the pre-production. The only thing is the pre-production unit here, uh, the antennas did feel a little a little floppy, the little rabbit ears. But other than that, uh, it's uh, let's just feel. Yeah, this is nice, nice, nice amount of resistance. But uh, let's just go over the. I'm gonna put this even down here like that, so you can compare those two there. Um, if you look at this unit here, we get here is just kind of a power on. So let's just power this on. And there you go. So it starts up. That's the little mini OLED screen. And then now that's flashing because it's actually looking for uh, a, a, a signal to send off to. As I mentioned before, I'm using my, my iPad here to monitor this video right here. But um, you know, I could then switch this over to this unit if I decided to. Uh, but I do have to plug this into my camera. So anyways, let's just move this. So what do we have here? So we have, we have the power on button here. We have the uh, USB type C for charging, which is perfect. And it does say five to 12 volt, five amps. So uh, you could probably charge while you're using it if you're gonna be using it for a long time. This has a built-in battery, which the previous unit here used kind of like the standard, kind of the Sony, you know, the, um, uh, the camcorder battery that you can just buy these, but it does add to the size and, and the bulk and the weight of it. This thing here is all built in, so that's uh, really nice that you don't have to worry about any kind of external battery that you have to plug in. And on the other side here, you have uh, a USB uh, micro connection, and that's uh, going to be for uh, probably importing of LUTs as well as maybe firmware updates this way here. And there's your HDMI plug-in uh, that goes directly into your camera. And then you got quarter 20 on the bottom and then quarter 20 again on the bottom. And it is very important that you do have this QR code because this is what's gonna help your app connect to this device. So let's, uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna swap out the uh, the Mars 400S that I'm using to, to do this. And I'm gonna use my iPhone and I'm gonna connect uh, from this to my iPhone to monitor, and then eventually I'm gonna go into my studio and then we're gonna actually gonna test it out, right? So let's let's do that now. Actually, before we start, make sure you download the app there. It is the Holly View app. And then once you press that app, uh, it gives you the option of what, what you're trying to connect to. So right now I am connected to the Mars 400S, and if I hit connect here, it will, see so you can even hear the audio. Hear that? Hear that? Hear that? Look at that. Okay, so let's just stop that. But here you can see uh, I'm currently using the, the Mars 400S. So that's how you connect, right? So let's, um, and from this 
app here, you can see all the different menus, tools, and you get the you can get histogram, you can get frame, you get zebra, and you can actually record from this device. Let me just, but you are seeing exactly what your camera sees, right? You can see your f-stop. I can see my microphone levels. I could see all the menus on my camera, like any monitor. That doesn't make this special. Uh, but what makes it special is that I'm actually just using my iPhone for this. So here I can take screenshots. So if you touch the screen once. And there, I could take, I think that's the, there you go. So I just took a screenshot of this, right? And I can go back now. There you go. And as well, press it again, and there's video. And I can hit video, and it will now, it's actually recording what we're seeing right now. Okay, and let's just stop the recording. And then, let me see here, what's happening here? There you go. It's, it's, it just played back what I recorded. But anyway, so now we're, we're, we're back to live. And I'll turn off the audio here. And so let's, uh, like I said, I'm going to hook this up here, uh, remove the Mars. I'm going to just put this down here. Let's just do it real time. How about that? Let's do it real time. So this is the, the Mars 400S transmitter, and this is the Mars 400S receiver. Again, like I said, it looks very identical. It's professional built. It's bulky because it should be. But for a lot of us, including myself, I don't need anything this heavy duty. So I'm going to unplug this now, which will now, um, there you go. So I unplugged this and it actually stopped the recording. So I'm going to now put this down here. Move this here. Let's just move this. This is getting kind of cramped in here. And so let's move this here. And now I will plug this into the Mars X. There you go. Now it's plugged in. And typically, obviously, you wouldn't have this in camera here. But I start this up. And now, let's grab my iPhone app. Go backwards. And from here, you just swipe back. Now, this is, it says coming soon because this is pre-production. This is before launch. And I'll hit connect. And it uh, is looking for the the um, the QR code. And so when it, once it sees the QR code, is it going to pick it up? Is it going to pick it up? What's happening? Now this is for the the new Mars X, but this is before. It says coming soon. Can you see that? So this is not yet set up properly. So I did have to manually uh, set this up, but typically what you do is you would scan this QR code here. And once you scan it, you're in. But here we go. We are in now. And now I am using, look at that. I am using the this unit here, which is wirelessly transmitting to over here. And so that's the point of using something like this. See how small this unit is here? And then you have your iPhone. This is a pretty minimalist setup for uh, using a wireless monitoring system. Imagine you're out and about by yourself, maybe on a, a tiny little uh, tabletop tripod or even like a monopod, and you're setting up and you wanna make sure that uh, everything you're seeing uh, your framing and everything looks great. Yes, you can have an articulating front forward screen, but I think it's nice to even have it like this because then somebody else on the other side could also be monitoring using a device, I guess up to three devices coming from a little compact unit like this up to 300 feet away. Uh, as long as there is a line of sight between your monitoring device, line of sight to this unit 300 feet away. But for me, I don't think I'll ever be that far away. So let's, um, so now that we know that it works, let's, um, actually you want, let's even connect the iPad. And so this is the beginning screen, the, 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 the starter screen again. I was using the Mars 400S. Now I'm going to use the Mars X. Hit connect. And again, I've already sort of pre-connected uh, using the, uh, the code. And so here you go. There's my iPad. Look at that. Look how crazy that looks. Look how crazy. And, let's, and, and again, like I said, it can also record audio. So you can hear my voice. And you hear the delay. And you can see the visual kind of. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to stop that. And again, as I said, you can tap the screen. You see all the little menu items here. All right. So now that we hooked up both my iPad and my iPhone uh, for here, let's actually now set up in my studio and see all, how all this looks like. All right. I've started the video and this is the part usually where uh, I haven't started the video and I'm just checking all my, my framing and everything using uh, a monitor type system. Now I have the Fujifilm X-H1 and it does not have a forward facing articulating screen. So I would usually have to like guess and I'm using a manual focus lens and I'm using focus peaking and right here on my iPhone, I can see the red in the hat. This shirt is 
red has red lines so it's hard to tell but i could see the red in the hat so i know that i'm at the right focus distance uh, from my lens and as well even if i had a built-in monitor on my camera i'm still you know five feet away and having it like right here and i could check to make sure all right the the boom microphone is off camera and i could adjust my lights i have a light here and a light over there which i'll show you in a second but you know i can adjust these things right here on the fly and then having this monitor in my hand and then i could just put it down right and not have to use it but having this wireless system it frees me up um unlike uh having uh, the Mars 400S, which I can definitely use it the same way and just use the the transmitter and just not use the receiver portion of it and just kind of put this away. Or as I did in one of my videos, I actually hooked up this to my, my monitor there because that's really what this is for, right? Uh, HDMI wireless output to any device that takes HDMI or SDI connection. But uh, not having to deal with this, uh, dealing with just this, but you're paying $650 for the Mars 400S system, but here's the, the Mars X right here. Now this is the prototype because the rabbit ears aren't as tight, but I mean, I could basically do that with something this small, basically with, with an iPhone and this, here you are doing monitoring. And now right now I'm gonna show you my, my setup. Um, and I can put this down, but I'm gonna use my Fujifilm uh, X Pro 3 with the uh, 10 to 24, and I'm gonna now start recording. So here's the X-H1 set up here on a monopod with a, uh, a Minolta lens with the adapter, so that's why focus peaking is very important to me. And look at that Mars X, look how small that is. Just a single cable HDMI uh, into the X-H1, and then I have another cable there, and that's actually for my, my boom microphone. And it's just sitting on a monopod by Surui, because it just takes up way less space in my studio here as I'm working, and just kind of shoved in the corner of my studio here. And then just to my left here is, a, is an LED light, and then to my right is another LED light, and then here is my, my boom here and then the Rode Video Micro above there. And so that, this is basically my setup here in my studio. And look how, I mean, look how compact and light this kit here is. And you can pretty much take it anywhere. I can imagine this outdoors, you know, and here you just can have it stable uh, on a monopod with a mini <laughs> tripod legs there. Obviously on uneven ground, that's, this is not gonna work very well, but just in a setup like this works out perfectly. And having something like this and then being able to monitor just off your iPhone is awesome. Back to my monitoring system here. So imagine uh, you are out in the field and you have your camera on a monopod with little mini tripod legs and you have the Mars X set up and you know, you just use your iPhone or your smartphone to just kind of make sure everything's framed up right. And you can also see all your audio levels. And while you're recording, every once in a while, you can just check and make sure that everything is right. Especially like I said, I have a, a manual focus lens and I can constantly make sure in real time that it's in focus. And as well, if I'm using an autofocus lens, you can see the focus points and the eye tracking to make sure, so let's just say I have a guest coming on, to make sure that they are in focus or the right thing is being focused. And so this is a really great setup. As I said, I mean, this is pretty much it. This and whatever mobile device you have for under $200. There are a few accessories you need to buy. It doesn't include the the, the, the HDMI cable, but that makes sense because they don't know if you're going HDMI to HDMI or if you're going HDMI to micro mini HDMI. So uh, instead of them giving you three different cables, you just get the one that you need. Quarter 20 top and bottom. It has a little mini OLED screen here so you can change. It has eight different channels you can change. So if you find that maybe you're in the same room with somebody else that also has one of these things. So you can change up to eight different channels so you're not interfering with one another. But for, for a YouTuber like myself, I think the Mars X is just perfect for me. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I'm going to be doing uh, a lot more tests with this. Uh, this is just my first look, first impressions of this. But for talking head pieces like this, and I just want to quickly check up and make sure, you know, everything is looking good. Um, something like this is, is just perfect. And for under $200, it's, I think it's a great accessory for, for any YouTuber that does talking head pieces like this. And so thanks for watching, guys.
Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. I'll put all the links down below, including my previous video of the Mars 400S, if that's something that you are more interested in. But uh, as well as some of the retailers, I know B&H, they are a uh, dealer for Hollyland Tech. And so if you like to shop at B&H, there you go. But any other retailer that does supply as well, uh, you could probably get this very soon. And so thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. And happy shooting.